Hi everyone, welcome to Three Crosses Farrier Channel. We're trimming a Clydesdale today. This horse's name is Dakota, and she's a big girl. She stands 18 hands and weighs almost 2,000 pounds, maybe a little more. Um, one thing about drafts is that they have an extremely, because of the weight, they flare a lot. So what you're going to see me do here in a few seconds is... I'm going to cut these bars out, and I'm going to do a lot of work with my nippers before I go to my knife, and it saves me time. And then you'll also see me run my nippers around the outside of the hoof. And again, this saves me time. You can do it with your rasp, but it, it just takes a lot of time. These hooves are just massive. It's like trimming one, one, of, one draft horse is like five regular horses. And you can see that big bar just... It just wide the whole foot's wide normally that's where i would run a knife right there in the toe but because they're so large it's just easier to run my nippers these nippers that i'm running here are the largest nippers i have in my toolbox i have uh 14 race nippers and then these are 15s again just cleaning up that bar and now i'm going to take some frog out Clean that up. The the drafts when they just that frog just becomes a big old wide mash down. It is older. I'm using a loop knife on this side. You can see a little bit of thrush. That white chalky substance is thrush. You know. Now I'll run my knife. Clean up everything else I wasn't able to get with my nippers. The knife I'm using here is a uh, JH Forge short, shorty. Um, I, traditionally, I run a JH Forge deep belly, but um, I'm kind of in love with this shorty. It's it's really a fun knife, and it's a lot easier on your elbows. So I'm gonna run my nippers around. A lot of people when they see a draft are like, "Oh my God, that foot's so overgrown," but it's just it's the weight. It's just the sheer weight of the foot that just makes it look that way. Um, a lot of times that's why you shoe them as it holds that foot together. So I'm going to come all the way back around. Nice level nip line. Again, take out a little more bar. I run my nippers from the toe to the heel. It's just the way I do it. Some guys run them from one heel all the way around to the other heel. Um... It's just kind of personal preference. Now I'm going to run my rasp, flatten the foot, get it clean. Um, I use my hoof jack um, here to hold the foot up. Usually on a front foot I don't do that. But on a draft horse, you, you have to. I mean, otherwise it is just, that foot is just so heavy. Even when a draft horse is trying to be good, it's just heavy. Now we're going to come around and we're going to take out the flare on the outside. I'm using vet wrap here to get the feathers out of my way so I can see what I'm doing. Otherwise, they get in the way. They get, get hooked up on your rasp. It's just a pain in the butt. So I use vet wrap. Some guys talk about using socks, pantyhose. Everybody's got a method. I like vet wrap because I've always got it in the truck. And again, you can just see how wide that foot is. This foot I've been working on for quite a while, and it's looking a lot better. We've gotten rid of some of the splits. And here again, you see me run my nippers where, where probably on another horse I wouldn't do this. Um, drafts have a ton of hoof wall. Yeah, I can tell you're like, and no, it's just no, it's no. just insane how much hoof wall they have. You you weird country compared people. to yeah, like, like yeah, quarter uh -huh, horse. <laughs> Gonna run the rafts nice and clean. It's okay. Not not everyone can love country music. I'm pretty happy with that. And you can see that crack running up the toe. If if that foot gets too long, that crack would get worse. Come on, quit. Um, She's leaning on me pretty heavy here. See how the foot's going kind of side to side and I'm pulling on it? I mean, she's really good for a draft, but she still has her moments where she doesn't really want to cooperate. And they're so big that they don't have to cooperate if they don't want to. Um, yeah, I'm going to clean that up a little bit. 
This foot has come so far from when we first started on it. Um, last year I got hurt, was down for a while, and finding someone to do draft horses is next to impossible. A lot of farriers don't like them because they're hard. They're, they can be a real pain in the butt. Well, with that, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like and subscribe. Check out the rest of our videos on our channel. Catch you next time.